Grace under pressure is not this guy's strong suit. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Homer Simpson freakouts. Don't touch anything! I'll touch whatever I feel like! For this list, we're looking at moments where Homer Simpson acted out because of anger or fear, be it in the form of panic, outbursts, or complete tantrums. Number 10. Angry Dad After watching Homer repeatedly lose his temper, Bart came up with the character Angry Dad, around which he developed a comic book and later an internet cartoon series. Whoa, that's funny! Angry Dad looked and sounded exactly like Homer, and reacted to misfortunes in much the same way, except more exaggerated. Ain't that little? For example, upon reading an incendiary newspaper headline, Angry Dad's eyeballs bulge out and explode. The internet cartoon was so savage in its mockery of Homer's poor anger management skills that it convinced Homer to try to overcome the issue altogether. Stupid cartoon. <laughs> Bartoon, that's clever. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Of course, being Homer, he did a whole lot of panicking and freaking out along the way. Congratulations, Dad. The first step is admitting it. Is it also the last step? No, the last step is quitting. <laughs> Number 9. Meltdown with Mr. Burns When Smithers is forced to take vacation on Mr. Burns' orders, he chooses Homer as his replacement so that he won't get shown up. Perhaps if I search the employee evaluations for the word... Incompetent. 714 names. <laughs> Better be more specific. Lazy. Clumsy. Dim-witted. Monstrously ugly. Ah, oh, nuts to this. I'll just go get Homer Simpson. Homer tries his best to fill Smithers' shoes, but that proves to be difficult. As Homer carries out Smithers' duties, Burns wears him down by constantly insulting him. Everything's fine, Smithers. This Simpson fellow seems to be getting dumber by the minute. I've never seen anything quite like it. After days of taking abuse, including having various things thrown at him, a sleep-deprived Homer decides he can't stand it anymore and punches Mr. Burns in the face. <laughs> Though he only knocked out Mr. Burns, he fears that the blow may have killed his aging boss. So he takes off and runs home. Is there something wrong, homie? No. Number 8. Reliving a Childhood Memory Taking out the family to a nice restaurant, Homer volunteers to be part of a hypnotist's act. Okay. Is anyone here not a downer? Anyone? Do me! Do me! <laughs> the hypnotist makes Homer believe he's different people, including a famous historian and Angie Dickinson. It's all in good fun, until the hypnotist makes Homer think he's 12 years old which prompts Homer to revisit a traumatic episode from adolescence where he found a dead body at a quarry. Oh my god! Ah! 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 Do something, Ms. Marino! Ah, uh, yes, yes, um... Ah! Oh, that's better. Ah! As a result, Homer goes into a screaming fit, which causes the hypnotist to bail. The fit goes on to last for the rest of the night and into the next day. We gotta say, Homer can do an impressive number of things while screaming. <laughs> number 7. Homer Hulks Out Remember how Homer decided to give up anger after watching the Angry Dad cartoon? We all knew that wouldn't last long, right? To get Homer to return to his angry ways, Bart builds a trap which causes Homer to fall into a pool of green paint. Time to put this ordeal behind me. As a result of the prank, Homer comes off looking like the Hulk. He even begins to sound like the Hulk, speaking in short sentences. Homer man! Homer smash! Get revenge on world! Following this transformation, Homer goes on a short rampage, punching random objects before quickly being subdued by police. Green is not good on him. But hey, better a meltdown than for Homer to succumb to his rage boils. You see, these boils on Homer's neck are pent-up rage. If Bart's trap hadn't set Homer off, the anger would have overwhelmed Homer's system. Number 6. A Real Pickle in this episode, Bart lies to his family about going to a national grammar rodeo so that he can go on a road trip with his friends. The national grammar rodeo? I wish I were going. Oh, wait, wait. I mean, I wish I was going. Is that right, Bart? Mm. When he gets stranded in Knoxville, Tennessee, Bart calls Lisa for help. 
However, since she can't think of any other way to get him home, Lisa ends up telling Homer the truth about Bart's situation. Bart rented a car with a phony driver's license and drove Milhouse, Nelson, and Martin to a wig outlet in Knoxville, and the car got crushed, and they're out of money, and they can't get home, and Bart's working as a courier and just came back from Hong Kong! At first, Homer seems really calm about the problem, but he's actually suppressing his anger, which he vents into a hazmat helmet. <laughs> It makes for a nice variation on his usual outbursts. After he's done with his tantrum, he hangs up the helmet and calmly tells Lisa just what he intends to do. All right, I have thought this through. I will send Bart the money to fly home, then I will murder him. Number five, why you little? Homer lunging at Bart and strangling him is one of the longest running gags that has been used in the show. He's been strangling Bart for his misbehavior ever since Bart was a baby, often for something as minor and trivial as the boy talking back to him. Dad, dad, dad. Yes? Domer. <laughs> Why, you little? <laughs> Obviously, strangling a child is never acceptable. But if it's Bart, no, not even then. This running gag is perhaps the most consistent example of Homer having poor impulse control. Dad, I've never said cowabunga in my life. Your script sucks. Well, you little <laughs> He gives in to his extreme emotions at the first sign of a problem. Unfortunately, his kids seem to be learning by example. You little <laughs> Listen, no! Your hands are too weak! <laughs> Number four, when Mr. Burns comes to his senses. After having been shot in the previous episode, Mr. Burns recovers in the hospital. When he comes out of a coma, all he can say at first is Homer Simpson, which naturally leads the authorities to believe Homer was the shooter. Homer Simpson. Bingo. That gunman has a name, oh. Chief, 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 chief. Angry over this wrongful accusation, Homer goes into Mr. Burns' room and starts shaking him. Homer Stop Simpson. telling him it was me! Homer Simpson. I'll kill Simpson. you! However, despite everything that's happened, Burns still doesn't recognize him, which, as we know all too well, is a sore spot for Homer. Who the devil are you? Homer Simpson! What? What are you talking about? Don't really make sense, man! Shut up. This final insult sets Homer off in a fit of rage, prompting him to take Chief Wiggum's gun and hold it to Burns' head, nearly committing the crime of which Burns accidentally accused him. Say it, Burns! Say I never shot you! Before. Shut? <laughs> By you, I'm afraid not, my primitive friend. Number three, trying to make a barbecue pit. Anyone who's struggled with a DIY home improvement project can relate to this meltdown. That wasn't so hard, was it, honey? Dad, I really need to rest my back. Homer tries to assemble a barbecue pit that he bought at a hardware store, but has trouble when all of the parts fall into wet cement. Okay, no big deal. Uh, uh. Ah, stupid Lisa! <laughs> she gotta build fast. Cement trying! In a last-ditch attempt to get it assembled, he mindlessly fits together random pieces, hoping they'll connect. Needless to say, this doesn't work out at all. Frustrated by the end result, he takes out his anger on the monstrosity by attacking it with a crowbar. Uh, yeah, that's one fine-looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? Uh, I don't, why, why must life be so hard? Why must I fail in every attempt at masonry? Uh, Meanwhile, Bart casually sits back in the house just like viewers at home, enjoying the undeniably entertaining expression of mindless rage and frustration. How's your father's project coming along? I think he's almost done. <laughs> yeah, he's done. Number two, no TV and no beer make Homer go crazy. Treehouse of Horror episodes are meant to be dark, and consequences of the storylines have no effect on the show's continuity. Oh my, it seems the show is so scary that Congress won't even let us show it. Instead, they've suggested the 1947 classic Glenn Ford movie, 200 Miles to Oregon. It's an opportunity for Simpsons characters to be even more outrageous and extreme than usual. But no one embodies this concept better than Homer. One such example of Homer freaking out in a Halloween special is Treehouse of Horror 5, in which he finds himself in a perfect timeline. Except for the fact that no one knows what a donut is. Dun dun dun! Marge, dear, would you kindly pass me a donut? Donut? What's a donut? Ah! 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 Oh, it's raining again. In the same episode, there's also a Shining parody where Homer takes on the Jack Torrance role and goes all out as a deranged lunatic. Give me the bat, Marge. 
Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Come on. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Ha, ha, ha. Scaredy cat. Yeah. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Homer and the Swear Jar, Old Habits Die Hard. Homer, that was a 20. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, you son of a- Die, diet. As Homer knows, there are fates worse than death. <laughs> Lego Homer's fleshy reflection. It's not always helpful to take a look in the mirror. <laughs> Marge, did you replace our regular mirror with a magical mirror from a mystical salesman at a weird store that if we went back to find it, it wouldn't be there anymore? No. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. Flanders in that outfit would be impossible to ignore. If you ever get into trouble, all you need to do is... Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. Night terrors. Peace doesn't come, even in sleep. <laughs> What's wrong with him now, Bart? Night terrors, ma'am. <laughs> Cobras! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, when Marge announced she was pregnant. Ever wonder how Homer got to be bald? Well, according to this episode, it's because of his kids. Marge is pregnant? No! <laughs> Each time Marge announced she was pregnant with one of their children, Homer would tear out large pieces of his hair in devastation. You're pregnant? <laughs> With the announcement of Bart, Homer had a full head of hair, and by the time it came to Maggie's announcement, he was left with a few strands. You're pregnant again? <laughs> Not only does this freakout look hilariously painful, but it also led to a signature trait we associate with Homer, his hair loss. And that makes it a truly iconic freakout. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.